there's so much things to actually look at that when you see CBDCs build on top of Ethereum, when you see a lot of lending be built on top of Ethereum, when you see decentralized exchanges continue to flourish on top of Ethereum as well, and then you have your NFT space, that will create a multiplier effect towards Ethereum. What a lot of people fail to see in Ethereum is the network effect. It's the network that makes its net have so much worth. Hey guys, so in this video, I want to talk more about Ethereum once again. So while we're making this video, Ethereum is around 4,700 US dollars and has hit its all-time high once again. So if you were following me already at the start of the year, I made uh, different videos now sharing my thoughts on different tokens and coins. And one of my favorites has been Ethereum. And what's so interesting about that is from the time I started doing deep dives on this and sharing it also in YouTube at the start of the year versus where we are now the fourth quarter of the year, it's not just that I spent a lot of time, I also grew uh, learning more about it and my conviction for Ethereum has continued to grow even more. If you notice it now at the start of the year, I was pretty much so intense about Bitcoin and up until now, I still love Bitcoin. I think it's digital gold, I think it's scarce, I think it's the most decentralized and secure cryptocurrency out there. But there's so much that could be done towards Ethereum. And if you want to take a deeper dive and allow me to share a lot of the other things that I love about it, this video is for you. We know that Bitcoin is scarce, it's digital gold, it's a store of value, it's a medium of exchange. That's how you analyze Bitcoin. Its inherent value is in its scarcity, its inherent value is in its decentralization, its inherent values because there's not a lot of Bitcoins out there. But I want you to take a look at Ethereum. As a platform, I want you to take a look at Ethereum as it can do the things that Bitcoin is actually doing, but there's a lot of things that you can build on top of it. It's a cryptocurrency where a lot of other programs that can do a lot of amazing things can be built on. For Bitcoin, its ability to go up in price because it's scarce is why people buy it. For Ethereum, the reason why it's being bought is primarily because of its use. It's primarily because of what you can do on top of it. You can research on this. There's a term that's called decentralized applications or dApps. These are apps that are built off smart contracts. And of course, there's a lot of smart contracts out there. You have Solana, you have Polkadot, you have Algorand, Avalanche, you have Terra, and so much more. However, the biggest advantage of Ethereum is that majority of the developers, the users, are still in Ethereum. I really believe that the entire market is still undervalued. I'm not talking about the next 8 minutes, I'm talking about the next 8, 18, and 80 years as well. That from where we are today, from where it could possibly be, there's so much more upside as well. It doesn't mean that it's not going to be volatile. It doesn't mean that there won't be any drops. It doesn't mean that there won't be any massive corrections because it's so new. Corrections will be part of it. Massive sell downs will also be there because there are a lot of people who are just really in it to just buy, sell, and which is totally okay. Nothing wrong with that. But the entire space, the entire cryptocurrency market will continue to grow. One of the things that people don't understand is the adoption towards this. When more people, more institutions, more sovereign funds also get in, it will place a pressure on the price that even though there are a lot of competitors also out there that as the space gets bigger everyone will have a piece of the pie let's say that ethereum is around 90 plus percent dominance against all of the other smart contracts i believe over time ethereum's dominance versus these other smart contracts will go lower but everyone will get bigger so think about it this way if ethereum is like nine points today everyone is sharing the other one point when the market goes to say 1000 Ethereum saying is around 60% at 600. All of the other smart contract altcoins will share the 400. The dominance of Ethereum becomes smaller, but essentially from 9 to 600, it has grown leaps and bounds. And in the same way also, the other smart contract altcoins will actually follow. I think there's only 11% of Ethereum's right now that are moving in circulation. That's primarily because of E2.0 where uh, Ethereum's are stick and not moving at all. So if you try to analyze it that way, hmm, 11% supply that's moving around, larger demand for it. And that's why gas fees are also 
higher because there's such a large amount of demand for Ethereum versus other projects that there are apps, there are programs being built there, but the amount of usage is not yet there. Little amounts of Ethereum moving around, larger demand for it. The only possible scenario from an economic point of view is that lesser supply, larger demand, the price would actually go up. By the time we're actually filming this, Ethereum is also at its all-time high at 4,700. It has gone up massively already. I think we've only just begun. I think the adoption of this will just get bigger, better, and stronger. The usage of this won't stop. And there's so much things to actually look at that when you see CBDCs built on top of Ethereum, when you see a lot of lending be built on top of Ethereum, when you see the centralized exchanges continue to flourish on top of Ethereum as well, and then you have your NFT space, that will create a multiplier effect to Towards Ethereum. What a lot of people fail to see in Ethereum is the network effect. It's the network that makes its net have so much worth. So a network is basically, if it's just me, the network is basically useless because I don't get to interact with any anyone. But if it's me having a phone, connecting with another person who also has a phone, then suddenly the network doubles because suddenly that phone has value because it can connect to someone else. And then if you add a third person there, it's not one plus one plus one because I can call the second person and then the second person can call the third person and the third person can call me. Then suddenly, if you multiply that even further, what I'm saying is this, more users into it, it will just create a net, a web, a network that makes it even bigger. And that's what a lot of people don't understand. The larger the network, the more valuable Ethereum will be, the more valuable other smart contract blockchains will be as well. I'm not saying that it's just gonna be Ethereum. I'm just saying that a lot of these smart contract blockchains will also benefit from it. But it's somehow just a safer bet right now. It, it doesn't mean that it will have more upside than the smaller ones. I believe that the smaller ones also will have a larger amount of upside um, than what Ethereum is. But for those who want to play something that's a bit safer, you want a sense of predictability on what it is. That's what Ethereum can bring on the table. Those applications get built on top of it. That's when people will understand the value. That's where people will understand how awesome and amazing it is because it's hard to understand protocols but imagine this the boom of nfts this year a lot of people who would invest in it don't really care about the underlying technology about it they just really want to have positions in nfts if you buy nba top shot which is using flow as their blockchain all you see is the website all you see is using your credit card to be able to transact with it and that's what makes it in my opinion very interesting once we see all of these apps that people will use, then the value will just increase even more. Ethereum, a platform. Ethereum, the lessening supply that's around it, its value even more because of its network effect. We all know that over the next few months, it's gonna transition from proof of work to proof of stake. A lot of people don't want to invest in cryptocurrencies, particularly institutions, because of ESG, because of its impact for the environment. And a lot of people have this stigma still that if it's proof of work, it's bad for the environment. Moving Ethereum, from proof of work to proof of stake will unlock a lot of these funds, a lot of these institutions that don't want the environmental impact of proof of work. So proof of stake will somehow unlock more funds into it and it will address and treat all of its scalability issues. From one person who connects a MetaMask wallet to all of you guys who may have experienced this, that we all know the gas fees are expensive and moving into proof of stake will somehow change all of that as well. So those are the things that are so interesting about it. But as I continue to learn more, it, it's just so fascinating and I, I'm not an expert in this space. I'm really a stock market guy that's trying so hard to just learn. And the more I learn, I feel I'm sucked into a rabbit bit hold that it's just so interesting eh? when I first started out I was just in it to okay invest when it starts to go higher then that's very very good for me but the more you study the more you get to realize how game-changing it is and the ability of what smart contracts can do is just very very revolutionary because you get to have programs on top of the blockchain a lot of people are asking um, what's my thoughts if at this current price between Bitcoin and Ethereum, uh, what would I like more? So I like both, but if you're asking me right now which can give more value still, I would go for the one that has a lot of usage. I would go for the one that 
you could still build a lot on top of it. And that being said, maybe sometime in the future, I, I am no one has a crystal ball, but there's a possibility that Ethereum's market cap may be actually higher than Bitcoin. So that's why I have more Ethereum right now than Bitcoin as well, which was not the case when I started the year, but the deeper I understood it, the deeper I learned more about it. Bitcoin has its place. It's less volatile, it's less risky, it can still give you a good upside. But the action are in smart contracts. The action are in dApps, are in DeFi, are in NFTs. And those are all in Ethereum. I hope that this is something that helped you. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comment section. And in the description below, there's so many ways on how you can also interact with me. And for those asking on how you can enter the cryptocurrency market space, it's all there in the description below. So that's it for now. This is Marvin Kermo. I hope this video helps you trade well, trade strong, trade smart. See you all again soon and God bless you all.